Unquestionably, it was the fight of the century, yet it was only the first of many to come. The World Series of 1903, that was the first World Series in baseball history. A contest between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Boston Red Sox. And you know what? For the first game in that historic first ever battle between the National League and the American League, the Red Sox manager sent to the pitcher's mound, of all people, Denton Tecumseh. And the record book now confirms that he was the losingest pitcher of all time. Why Boston decided to start him against Pittsburgh? Well, that's something as significant as the World Series itself. You see, Denton Tecumseh's theory of baseball pitching was that a pitcher should let a batter hit the ball as often as possible. That way, Denton said, your arm won't get so tired. And it seemed in the first game of that first series, Denton's theory was working out sort of. Pittsburgh's first two batters did get some wood on the ball. They did go down in order, but then almost literally the game was over. Because that second out was followed by a Pittsburgh triple, a single, a stolen base, an error, a double steal resulting in a run, and the score after one inning was Pirates 4 and Red Sox zip. You got to hold him, Denton was told as he went to the mound in the top of the second. And he did his best. The first batter was Pittsburgh's Beaumont. Denton actually struck him out. Next batter, Clark hit a single to right. But he got overconfident, tried to stretch it to a double. He was thrown out, two down. The third batter, Leach, flied out to right. So it appeared that Denton Tecumseh had turned things around. But then in the third inning, Pittsburgh's Bransfield blasted a triple off him. Then Sebring single to right, scoring Bransfield. Now it's five to nothing. The Boston pitcher's peril continued in the seventh, an RBI, and then a home run. Now the Red Sox were done. Oh, they they did manage to squeeze out a couple of runs in their half of the seventh and one more in the bottom of the ninth. And yet the defeat of the Boston team at the hands of a supposedly inferior National League club, the defeat the ignominious defeat was charged to Denton Tecumseh, who was to lose more games on major league mounds than any other player in baseball history. If you forget everything else I say about Denton Tecumseh today, I want you to remember two things. First, he was the losingest pitcher in all major league history. But then I want you to remember one thing more. Today's visit is going to give you a new perspective. When later this season, awards bearing his name will be passed out to the best pitchers in baseball. You see, not only did Denton lose more games than any other pitcher in history, a total of 313, he won more games as well, 511 of them. And it's this latter record for which the sports world hails him, a hurler who was actually two in one, a hero and a bum, Denton Tecumseh Young, whom you know as Cy Young. And this year when the Cy Young Awards are passed out to the best of the best of the pitchers, you'll know the rest of the story. <laughs>